uh, all right. So, so I got off on a lot of tangents there because we were about to. Uh, look, here's the thing. We got this guy Adam Goldberg. He, he wow, he, that's that was. <laughs> Remember? The greatest adventure is what lies ahead. <laughs> Re remember at, at 8.15 when I mentioned Adam Goldberg? Uh, he's like a regular in the L.A. shows. He's like this. He's a, it's like, you know, you know how Indiana Jones had Belloc? Like, like, every hero has a shadow he casts. Like, 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 and you don't know whether to like him or like, he's like a, he's like a brother demon. Like, uh, you know, like, a, a lot of my fans are self-styled Dan Harmons. Like, 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 like. Like, like talented writers who can't make eye contact and like you know like, like a lot of my conversations with my fans look like two guys staring at the floor and accidentally insulting each other back and forth like like, like, like guys I, there's a lot of hey well no it's not just you but I was I was thinking about you uh, but 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 no it's like it's it's kind it's you know it's me you know I'm, I'm, an, I'm an awkward person and I have a I have an awkward flock um, so Adam is this little guy and he comes up on stage and like we in Harmontown like uh, clearly we've proven that like people like a lot of it is people coming up and like us getting to know who's out there and stuff and now but uh, Adam has got this sort of swagger now uh, that he he just kind of storms the stage like like a he's bull. become he's become our hamburglar yeah. like like like, <laughs> like 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 in the mythology like he he's like a guy like 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 people people in the live LA audiences don't like him as much as the podcast listeners because people in the live LA audiences are sitting next to the stage and they're going I could get up there too but I don't you're a dick. <laughs> But people listening are going, I can't ever get up there, so he's my hero. He's like one of those bomb-diffusing robots, like just putting himself into the Hurt Locker every time. Um, and, and then we're, 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 but we're mean to him, and then he comes back for more, and we like him, and it's like, are we being Howard Stern, or is, is that good or bad? Like, is this guy a genius or an idiot? Is he a hero or a it villain? It seems to be kind of a, like, a, like a weird, like, it's, it's really a toss-up among our audience. And some people really, like, like, support and love him. Some people don't know. Some people, like, some people, you know, wish, wish he wouldn't do that so much so like we don't really know where it stands and we're fascinated with them and that's the important thing but and more here's important the than thing. that yeah tonight here in somerville <laughs> it turns out no no adam's not with us <laughs> for the simple reason that we we we, we have a, we have a special unit of the police check the bottom of the bus every night <laughs> with with what i call cape fear mirrors <laughs> Adam is not here, but uh, uh, Adam Goldberg's two brothers are here. <laughs> Noah and 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 Harry. Are you guys willing to come up? Noah and Harry, are you here? Here they come. All right. So now we're gonna get to the bottom of some shit. I think. Hello. Holy crap! Wait. I, like, Shake your hand. Oh, Noah. 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 He said, I don't know if I should shake your hand. Oh, I, I've Dan's listened. Dan's always been a little bit nicer. Jeff's always been the one to, like, really just shit pretty hard. Really? Well, Jeff will, Jeff will oh, we say like stuff it. like, like, shut the fuck up, Adam. Get off stage. Right. And, and Dan will say, like... Please shut the fuck up. Right. Or, or, or I'll say like like well we're all Adam Goldberg a little bit like you know like like at what point do I you know where, where does the bully become See, the victim? My my question like we love Adam but we kind of hate him a little bit too. So are we? Right. Are you listening, Adam? Yeah. All the questions that you've asked, we've asked ourselves. <laughs> Oh, I thought we'd get answers, but it's a special kind of answer that there's just more questions. That's 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 fine too. It's like black hole research. I mean, I, 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 it's, like, it, it's to the point now, you guys, that uh, after the show, he follows me to my car, and if we go to a bar after the show. Then he follow, like, even if I don't say the bar I'm going to, sometimes he's just there, and he'll follow me to my car. Then like they, I, I I know he's harmless. He totally I, I, there's, there's no concern there, but he's a very forward guy. Right, you'd have to absolutely. You'd have to allow that. He's diabolical. I mean, he's he's a genius. Like he's he's always calculating evil and genius. Yeah, possibly evil. So when you guys were growing up, are you both older brothers? Yeah, we're three years older. So did you tie him to trees and like? Oh, uh, we were really bad to him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my my dad says that the worst day of his life was when he realized that the kid tormenting him was actually two kids tormenting him. <laughs> Because we're twins, so we're we work. Oh, you as a guys team. are twins. Oh, right. so we work as a team, and you know it's easy to trick your three-year-old brother, three years younger, into doing whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, and then when you when, when you get tired of fucking with him, you just tag out, and the other guy comes in. <laughs> yeah, we used to uh, pull him out of his crib to play. Like this was I, harmless. I, I would climb up and try to toss him down, and and we're, like. 
he couldn't catch very well. <laughs> Adam, I take it all back, man. Yeah, we're start this is this holy is shit. So maybe there's your origin yes. story. <laughs> and you know, we would walk into like my parents' room and you go, Dad, the baby's crying. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> This is guess, interesting. Guess he somebody, fell on somebody, his head. somebody audibly said, "Jesus." <laughs> uh, that's good. This is I mean, human, human I mean, we stuff. We did it out of love, but like, <laughs> so, yeah, it sounds, it sounds <laughs> loving. Four-year-olds can't catch. Like, it's interesting that's... when you remove the glasses from Adam Goldberg, age him up a little, and yeah. move him to Boston. He, it, there's a Jimmy Kimmel thing that starts to happen. <laughs> I, you, I, you guys look like, like I've you, got Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, now. yeah. But you're twins, and you don't. Are you are you, are you identical? Are you genetically identical? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess. I, 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 I guess when you go home tonight, you can go. Dan Harmon called me fat. I guess. I, <laughs> and 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 used DNA to prove it. I, I but I didn't mean it to happen that way. And and I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm fatter than you. I didn't mean it. I wasn't. Uh, I mean... I stumbled into it. <laughs> How many pictures on Google Images come up at you, man? Oh, man, like... dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, believe me. Like, 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 before you leak any celebrities' voicemails, make sure you've taken a lot of thin pictures. Like, don't... <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, like, and make sure your teeth aren't yellow. Like, I, yeah, I, that, that, that humbled me greatly. That phase, <laughs> like, Dan Harmon's at it again. <laughs> hey, the TMZ photoshopping M and M's on my chin. I, I believe me, I did not mean it. Wait, which one are you, Noah or Harry? Harry. I'm Harry. Harry and Noah. Okay. Um, all right. Well, what do we? What can we do special with them, Jeff? So, that, like, 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 in preparation of going back home to Adam. Like, yeah, we met what, your brothers. What are we at? What, what is your problem now? <laughs> Oh yeah. So he, he, uh, you guys both live here still, right? And uh, and and so he. When did he move away to LA? Um, about a year and a half or so ago. And how was that partying? Was it bittersweet, or did you like uh, see, I, see, get the, the fuck out of here? The after party was way better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam got on the bus, and then a guy in Surprise! a cop outfit blew a whistle. <laughs> YMCA. <laughs> we, we've always had the plan that somehow Adam was going to be the one to make all the money and be able to take care of us. And oh, okay. That hasn't happened. Right. Yeah. Well, no, it, it hasn't close. happened yet. He's working on it. How old is Adam? Like, evil genius. The, yeah. Like, the key part is... Genius, for sure, and uh, yeah, I, I think that's what buys it all back. Like, he's, like sometimes he, but he, yeah, he goes into these rants that are like, uh, you know, they're they're kind of ill timed, and 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 his sense of like kind of verbal rhythm kind of like doesn't doesn't hit the ear eardrums in the right right pattern. But he's like, what? He's a kid. He's like twenty something. Twenty something. And uh, and but you know, when you actually listen to what he's saying, he's like, uh, you know, a lot like, of people, holy shit, he's really smart. A lot of people don't know what to make of him. I yeah, mean, understatement. Yeah, but uh, but the thing is that once you get his character and his personality, a lot of the stuff he says is pretty genius. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius. I think he works well with an editor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's, it's the but, comedy rule of threes, right? One out of three things he says is funny. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, you're a writer. You know this. Like, you don't do it all yourself. You need a team around. Exactly. You to... like, if we could have cut out me accidentally calling you fat, like, I, I would, <laughs> I would be like a great fucking That's host. That's my favorite part. Like, uh, yeah, I can go. I, I will go back and edit that out of the podcast, and then I'll seem like a very charming guy. Do you guys want to? Uh, maybe do you guys want to like be, take this opportunity because I would. I mean, I presume that Adam will be listening to these podcasts as they're coming out. <laughs> uh, I mean, anybody would because it's certainly like out of, even just out of simple. Human. Oh, he doesn't have my phone number. It's cool. He doesn't have your phone number. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'd say maybe like you guys could send a little like uh, little video. Uh, I mean, sorry, an audio letter to him, you know, like a, like a little wistful, you know, brotherly contact, you know, uh, over our thing. Give him a little soundtrack. Uh, huh? That's all you know. This is your letter, your open letter to Adam. Whatever you want to say to him. Adam, mom and dad just really want you to get a job. <laughs> we know, we know you're trying. We know you're trying, but <laughs> try harder. <laughs> Times are tough for everyone. When, when they saw you in the backgrounds of Community and you looked within 20 years at Chevy Chase, that is not a good look. <laughs> so keep going. We love you. We support you. But 
Did the Friars Club sponsor this letter? <laughs> All right. Just... The, thing, the thing you can do for us is not let him respond to this. Because it's uh, going to be way worse for us. Well, yeah, but yeah. So you guys are scared of his like his brain and his mouth, right? Like he'll 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 level level that weird. There's still two of us. Yeah, that Lex Luthor death ray. Uh, yeah. So Adam, okay, physically they can still kick your ass, but uh, you got away. They 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 would like you to make some money. Can, can I ask a question here? Of course. To, to the audience, like I know the LA audience is kind of like what skeptical. You said, skeptical, <laughs> but like. Of the people listening, like, how does it play out for just listening here? Just were you asking these people? I thought he was a writer on Community. Oh, yeah. Uh, this woman, I just this figured that he actually like had a role. This young lady said, "I thought he was a writer on Community. He could probably he probably texted you and told you that." <laughs> There's a diabolical quality to him. He, 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 he ends up with everybody's phone number. One time we were at the drawing room. Mostly after, women, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, after a bar, uh, we, after we go to this one bar after our show, and uh, I was there, and uh, he was working on some girl, and the girl had a friend, and, and he was drunk. They were dead drunk. And, and he's like, Jeff, 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 come here. Give me your phone number. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, Give me your phone number. Adam, fucking no way. No. But, but, he, like, but he but, gets all the women's digits yeah. in, 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 in like crazy weird Jedi ways. He, he I, I was, it was present the moment when he walked up to Aaron and he said, "So Aaron, uh, uh, my uh, AT and T fucked up my phone and I finally got it back and I lost your number. I needed your number again." And, and Aaron kind of went, "Uh, eight one eight, blah 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 blah." I gave it to him and he walked away. And Aaron had this blank expression on his face. I never gave him my number. <laughs> it's no joke, man. It's no joke. He's a Jedi. These are not the droids you want. Yeah, I didn't put anything in your drink. Did you ever read the book? Did you ever read the book by Bud Shulman, What Makes Sammy Run, about this character Sammy Glick? Uh, I haven't read it. Yeah, it's a good. I mean, that's read that book. It's about a guy that that, that he's just this little like guy, the newspaper man, the guy that runs the papers and stuff like that, and he ends up running a studio in Hollywood simply simply out of will. And and the and the, the just like the idea that there's nothing there, there are no such thing as a human obstacle. Like people are things you can just move around like chess pieces. Yeah. And and it's not it's not willfully mean. It's just the <laughs> idea that the goal is something that's more important than than the steps along the way. And is it genetics that makes your brain like that, or or is it your older brothers playing uh, uh, catch catch the baby out of the cradle? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a combination of yeah. uh, that and head injuries. Definitely. All right, Noah and Harry, everybody. Let's hear it for the Goldberg brothers. Goldberg brothers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Harry. We've never, we've never had a disaster, Jeff. We just bring random people up on stage, and we, it was like, like, like you're trained from the for the stand-up like mythology and the uh, and TV and stuff. Like when somebody starts popping off in the audience, you, you, everyone gets as uncomfortable as when like a baby is crying on an airplane. It's like there's a crisis. There's something happening. Like, this is gonna go bad. Like what's Rob Schneider gonna do? Um, <laughs> But 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 at our show, we've been, I know we're spoiled because all these audiences are people who you know they listen to the podcast, they come out, they drive a long way, and they pay money, but then they're ready to have a good time. But 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 like, I just love the human experiment. You can just you can just drag people up, and they and they're like, I don't know, and then they start rapping and they fucking bury I bury know, the show. Like they, they just but when like, Noah came up, Noah came up, he gave me a pretty stern look, and he goes, I don't even know if I should shake your hand. And he, he and thought it was because he was protective of Adam. Yeah, and, and then he just completely threw Adam under the bus. Yeah. I mean, he really meant it. I don't know if I should shake your hand. I, I don't know. Yeah, that took his. Eric texted me. What? Is he here? Well, come up, come oh, come up, up Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, get on come stage. Up. Aaron, Aaron McGathy. This could go bad. I mean, I never know what this one. <laughs> uh, well, all, all I was going to say is that Adam just texted me, uh, we're my brother's drips. Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> nice. uh, Aaron McGathy, everybody. <laughs> S sni sniped from a distance by the Goldberg yet, sniper rifle. And yet the, the blood does kind of run cold. That we, we, we like Beetlejuice. We've mentioned his name so many times, and he, he just starts texting people. That, that's fucking cool. Yeah, he's like Sherlock Holmes in that new remake in the BBC. I was just, like, what? There's text coming up. Like, he knows we're talking about him. Having fun, Mr. Harmon? Yeah. <laughs> you amuse me so. Uh... Uh, I, he's like he's like Q. He's not he's not uh, he's not my Belloc. He's my Q from d New Star Trek. I'm gonna get laid in Boston. <laughs> Star Trek Next Generation reference. All right. 